liked, but it was twice as much as the one we picked out. Darn it. Hey, this is Tony Bridgeview Adventures. I wanted to show you something, a little touch that we were doing to the barn. Uh, when the Amish built the, the barn for us and our porch and everything came out great, the regular house is has a three foot metal wainscot that changes color. The top is the tan, the bottom is the black. But on the front porch and on the side uh, where the, the garage doors are, we wanted a, an accent. So we went to Menards, a uh, local uh, uh, bulk store here in our area. And we got this uh, stone and it's actually called Rocky Mountain Ledge Stone. That's the one we chose. and. Um, it is a manufactured stone. It's a uh, light, but has the stone look. It's a very textured stone look. It's uh, mainly grays, light grays, and every now and then a little bit of this red color. And we're gonna use these in several places. Number one, we're gonna go around the posts. I gotta build a box around them to go around and whatnot, but we'll have, this will be the stone to go around the post. This will come up three to four feet, probably just three feet to match the side. And also where the wainscot is here, from three foot down, we'll put it here. So we've already gone through and I put on the concrete board because this is weatherproof and uh, this will not rot. So I don't have to worry about it. if water got in there, whether it would rot. So I've got my rock board up and we will do this in stone. We'll wrap the columns in stone up to three foot and uh, it should all look really, really nice. So uh, stick around. We'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, so when, when, they, of so yeah. when the Amish did the work, they uh, they mounted CDX boards under this wainscot for me to put my stone on, and uh, I don't want I don't want the CDX on there because if it if it was to get water through it, it would get in this, it would deteriorate, swell up, pop this pop them off. So I pulled off pulled off all the CDX on the sides, and we're mounting a cement board. So. Uh, this is a concrete product. You can leave this stuff out in the rain for years. It will not rot. It will not get wet, um, moist, impervious to uh, water. So pull that off, got this screwed on, and then uh, on the outside then will be. will be the stone. And we'll be mounting the stone out here. Out here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Because it's an exterior installation, the mastic to put this on, you have to use mortar and not the uh, not the indoor pre-mixed paste. That's for indoors only. Why, I have no idea, but <laughs> that's what the instructions say. Okay, so we're going to do that. I don't think you get a heat super here right beside me. It's two separate boards. Is Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Wow, we can we can crawl in. <laughs> so we're configuring the stone look here. Ahead of time. We'll transfer it over here. Whoops, somebody stepped on one. We have a boo-boo! Yeah, they're just right in the walkway. It looks better on the wall, just saying.
Good. They're sticking pretty good, aren't they? Do we have one of those broken ones? Get one of those broken ones. It's not a broken one. We got a chipper chunk of one over here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so this is phase two of the rock installation where we're just gonna put the stone on the side. Uh, we made several mistakes when we started on the other side. Number one was is that when we mixed the mortar up, or it's called a base coat or something of that sort, what we didn't realize was is that the set time on that was 20 minutes. I thought it was like normal mortar and it would stay wet for a while. It's only tacky for about 20 minutes. So we were behind from the get-go. Um, then we were trying to cut the stone. We didn't have the stones already cut the length. We didn't have them coped to go around the J trim. And uh, I just wasn't happy with the way it was going. I, so I just said, let's stop. It was too hot. We were all miserable. And I said, let's just re uh, uh, reconvene later and we'll do it. So we laid out the pattern uh, for all of the, the remaining um, spots. We've already got the pattern on the floor. Uh, laying out on the ground so that it's you just take the pattern and put it on because it's like a jigsaw puzzle They don't just fit so we've got the pattern set out So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them to the right width So one side has to be trimmed so I'm going to be trimming those and cutting a, a coping into it so it'll fit into the J channel um, and make a nice seam on the side so my plan is I'm going to cut them all and I'm going to have them all totally ready before we mix the mortar back up again. Well, with the only the 20 minute set time and uh, we're going to try it that way. Uh, a little wet today, actually, I, I'm not going to complain because it's been so hot, 110 heat index. And today it just feels great. It is humid and I am sweating, but it's not miserable. It's just humidity. So we can handle that. So um, I went and bought a, a, uh, a uh, cement blade or a uh, for cutting tiles and brick uh, a seven inch blade probably could have used a 10 inch blade but I didn't I wasn't thinking when I bought it I just went and grabbed one off the seven inch but uh, it's working in my table saw it's fine so I've got that in here it is cutting a nice beautiful edge on these um, already cut one up looks great uh, and then now, now I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna cut that little coping using the fence on my on my saw i can use my fence now i can use the adjustable fence in order to hold this up against and make those cuts they'll all be exact depth they'll be perfectly vertical so that they sit good should be okay see how it turns out so we've already finished up front where the garage doors are. We put the stone up there. Well, I'll flash you a picture of that. But this back side on the front boards, we've, it's kind of been put on the back burner. It's undercover. We can do it on a bad day. We've got other things going on inside to keep us busy. We have put our ceiling fans up here underneath the porch. We've put our, way, our uh, light sconces here on the outside. I've got the shutters installed. All we're waiting for is my stone. So like I said, we're waiting kind of for an off day, maybe a rainy day to get out here and and do it since we're undercover. And uh, since we're done with that, then uh, then uh, this front porch should be quite complete other than putting a sealant coat on the cement. Other than that.